There's a very famous guru at the moment, very, very famous in India. Mm. He's got a long beard. He's wearing turbans. And he, I saw him during Shiva Ratri. He was meditating there and there were, you know, tens of thousands of people meditating. That is bogus. Meditation means if you're actually a yogi, you must find a place that is beyond any disturbance. Nowhere. You you show me one story in Shastra. We have got so many Puranas, right? There are so many yogis spoken of. Vishwamitra, uh, Vasishta Muni. I mean, there are so many. Where is that Muni? There were like 10 together doing yoga. You show me one example. There's none. It's not possible because this is bogus. So all these so-called yoga clubs, especially in the West, even here in China, it's very famous. They do some yoga, they do some stretching, they think they're doing yoga. This is bogus. You see, this is Bhagavad Gita chapter 6, 7 and 12. One should hold one's body, neck, and head erect in a straight line and stare steadily at the tip of the nose. We have to stare. There's no question of closing the eyes. Closing the eyes is a new invention. We'll fall asleep closing our eyes, you know? Completely free from sex life, one should meditate upon me within the heart. Again, meditate upon me within the heart. We're speaking of the super soul here. Paramatma, not some light. This is a new invention. Nowhere in Shastra you see that you have to meditate on some light, some, you know, uh, realize that you're God. All these things are new inventions.